In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an intake Ram Air headlight. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Texas Honda Channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I'm going to show you how to make a ram air headlight system. Um, it basically is what it sounds like. It's going to ram air directly in through the headlight. This will be for track use only. Um, this will basically have the velocity stack that I got from DNA Motoring. Link will be in the description. Um, and it will sit in there and ram the air in. Now this won't be legal for street use, but I still will have the blinker so I can at least drive it, you know, when the sun's out or something. But I definitely recommend not driving it on the street like that. But we're gonna be going to the track tomorrow. So Dean and I have been working hard, getting this thing ready, making sure everything's good. We got the racing radiator from AGN, Eric at AGN, huge shout out to him. Um, I ended up wrinkle blacking the top, but not the inside, the part right there. That's staying silver. Uh, that way it can actually effectively cool, which it has been doing a really good job. The other radiator, the stock one, was spraying coolant. And a lot of people are telling me I need to get a slim fan, but in all reality, these factory fans have a shroud, so they work better than the slim fans. But if you get a slim fan with a shroud, it's even better because it's slim and it does pull in more CFM than the factory. But anyways, um, I got the engine back from the machine shop, freshly honed with the block guard in. Um, they checked everything, it's all standard size on the looser end, which is good because we need the loose end specs. And the crankshaft is a Z6 crank and it is in really good shape. They polished it and everything's good. So now I gotta order my pistons. They're PM6 CRX SI pistons, uh, but that'll give me 10 and a half to one compression. And that will definitely bump the power up a little bit. Plus, if I decide to ever put the turbo back in or something like that, I can easily turbo it and run less boost and make just about the same amount of power. So it's gonna be cool. And with the supercharged setup, it's definitely gonna pull more power. But hoping to break a mid 13 at least tomorrow. We have the traction bar on, the intake gasket we ended up replacing with just a Felpro. Um, we're waiting on the thermal gasket to get here, but since it's not here and track day is tomorrow, we just replaced it with a Felpro and it runs a lot better so far. Um, don't know if it's pushing more boost yet because we got to build this Ram Air intake headlight. So I'm going to show you exactly how to build this Ram Air intake headlight system. Okay, so this headlight here is a 96 to 98 headlight. Um, I have a 99, so the fitment will be a little off, but I'm just more worried about the performance aspect than anything. What I'm doing right here is basically just heating up the glue with the heat gun. You can do the same method by throwing it in the oven at 250 degrees for about 10 minutes and it does work the same way, but do not go any longer than that. Um, it will melt, but this method works a little bit easier for me. So basically I'm just heating it up and we're going to um, cut the glue. Now this is a little bit more of an important task if you're opening the headlights to paint them. Um, since this one doesn't really matter because it's not gonna be a daily driven headlight, it's not as important to me. Um, but what you'll do to reseal it is to heat up the glue and then put it back on using the heat gun. But I'm not too worried about it, like I said, because water's not really gonna get in there because I'm just using it at the track. But uh, yeah, so basically we're gonna pull this apart. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the silver part out where the headlight bulb actually sits. And uh, after we remove that, we're going to use the three and a half inch hole saw, drill a hole all the way through, clean it out. We'll be painting it with Rust-Oleum semi-gloss black paint, basically a satin black, and then putting the lens back on the headlight housing, and then uh, test fitting it all to make sure it all works. So we're gonna go over to the car and we're gonna test fit it. Now, in order to test fit it, obviously, I'm gonna have to take all of this one off. Uh, basically, we're just going to be taking the grill out and then the clips, the side of the bumper area, and then there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt here, 10 millimeter bolt there, and two 10, 10 millimeter bolts up top. Undo the headlight connector and undo the turn signal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.
Okay, so there it is, the intake headlight. As you can see, the gap, like I was talking about, we'll get the proper headlight and do it to that one. All right, so Dean's gonna hit the park light. As you can see, still works perfectly. Uh, obviously, the headlight won't because it's not hooked up, but uh, yeah, it'll definitely ram the air directly into that pipe and shoot it directly into the intake, causing an effective cooling method. But yeah, in order to not suck up bugs, the best thing to do, like I said earlier, was just put mesh in there. You can use screen door mesh. You basically take the velocity stack off, put the screen mesh around it, put that on, tighten it all down, and you're good to go. Honestly, I should do that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and send it and hope for the best. But yeah, it's basically ready. So uh, the next video that comes out after this one should be the drag strip video of what it did and what it made at the drag strip. Um, I'm hoping for a 13 and a half would be great because I ran a 1382 at 182 horses. Last time we dynoed it, it was at 208, but I fixed problems that we had since then, so it should be more than that. I'm just hoping for the best, and it's all fun. It's not anything serious, so I'm not too mad if it's not fast. It's all, it's all good. But uh, this one, since I'm spending some money, uh, I spent uh, $210 at Acker Machine Shop in Colleen, Texas. They got all this thing ready, so now all I gotta do is get it assembled, and then that block will go in here with the ARP head studs, the Cometic head gasket, and everything that's already done. So the top end's pretty much built, just needs a good port and polish. Supercharger's port and polished, um, or ported, I should say. And then we'll have the thermal gasket, and this thing's gonna be pretty quick whenever we're done. Either way, it's fun, and it's a good daily. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you have, make sure that bell icon's turned on so you get notified of my uploads, because some people have not been getting notified for some reason. I think YouTube does that, they shut it off, and then it's up to you to turn it back on. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but um, if you like the video, definitely smash the like button, or just gently press it, either one, and uh, drop a comment below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, God bless, stay safe. Stay awesome.